Hello, my friends. Welcome back to our study along of the world order of Baha'u'llah. If you are joining for the first time, welcome. I'm Jacqueline Clare. Linked below, you will find this document in a, I don't know if it's a PDF, it's just a link. You can follow along as well as a study guide. Also, you will find the launch video for this project so you understand what we're reading and why it's important and how it's relevant no matter what your faith is or your spiritual orientation. Very enlightening, empowering stuff that we're reading in this book, which is a compilation of letters. And again, that launch video will give you some context as well as this playlist so you can catch up to how we got to where we are today, which is the section called the impotence of statesmanship. Just a little update from last week. I am still looking for, hoping you will give me uh, the name of who Shogi Fendi was quoting at the end of that last letter. Um, again, it was 1931 or before, and he refers to an eminent European thinker who says the world is passing through the greatest crisis in the history of civilization. And then there was another one said by someone else. We stand before either a world catastrophe or perhaps before the dawn of a greater era of truth and wisdom. It is in such times that religions have perished and are born. So if you happen to know who is being quoted there, please drop it in the comments because I, I just want to know, just for the sake of trivia, I want to know who we're talking about there. All right, my friends, so jumping in to the impotence of statesmanship. Dearly beloved friends, humanity, whether viewed in the light of man's individual conduct or in the existing relationships between organized communities and nations has, alas, strayed too far and suffered too great a decline to be redeemed through the unaided efforts of the best among its recognized rulers and statesmen. However disinterested their motives, however concerted their action, However unsparing in their zeal and devotion to its cause, no scheme which the calculations of the highest statesmanship may yet devise, no doctrine which the most distinguished exponents of economic theory may hope to advance, no principle which the most ardent of moralists may strive to inculcate can provide in the last resort, adequate foundations upon which the future of a distracted world can be built. No appeal for mutual tolerance, which the worldly wise might raise, however compelling and insistent, can calm its passions or help restore its vigor nor would any general scheme of mere organized international cooperation in whatever sphere of human activity, however ingenious in conception or extensive in scope, succeed in removing the root cause of the evil that has so rudely upset the equilibrium of present day society. Not even, I venture to assert, would the very act of devising the machinery required for the political and economic unification of the world, a principle that has been increasingly advocated in recent times, the principle of the political and economic unification of the world, provide in itself the antidote, antidote against the poison that is steadily undermining the vigor of organized peoples and nations. What else might we not confidently affirm 
but the unreserved acceptance of that divine plan, that divine program enunciated with such simplicity and force as far back as 60 years ago, and this is 1931 that he's saying this, by Baha'u'llah, embodying in its essentials God's divinely appointed scheme for the unification of mankind in this age, coupled with an indomitable conviction in the unfailing efficacy of each and all of its provisions, is eventually capable of withstanding the forces of internal disintegration, which if unchecked, must needs continue to eat into the vitals of a despairing society. It is towards this goal, the goal of a new world order, divine in origin, all embracing in its scope, equitable in principle, challenging in its features, that a harassed humanity must strive. Whew. All right. So what I read in that was we've gone, humanity has gone too far that the best king, president, politician, um, um, organized, you know, union of leaders, the, the most well-meaning schemes, and scheme is not always a, a negative, you know, nefarious thing, um, is ultimately rather impotent um, at this point because we've come so far in our decline and that what we need is this new world order that is divine in origin, right? The only schemes we will accept are those of God himself. Um, so divine in origin, all embracing in scope, equitable in principle. That's, to me, that's also very interesting. It's equitable principle, not equity at all costs. We're not going to cut off people's feet so everyone is the same height, right? But the principles are equitable, challenging in its features. And this is what a harassed humanity must strive for. To claim to have grasped all the implications of Baha'u'llah's prodigious scheme for worldwide human solidarity so beautiful. Oh, worldwide human solidarity. Or to have fathomed its import would be presumptuous on the part of even the declared supporters of his faith. So to have grasped, to claim to have grasped all the implications of Baha'u'llah's plan, prodigious scheme for worldwide human solidarity, or to have fathomed, to have understood its import, would be presumptuous. To attempt to visualize it in all its possibilities, to estimate its future benefits, to picture its glory, would be premature at even so advanced a stage in the evolution of mankind. I'm going to stop there because the next letter is fairly long. Um, yeah, thank you so much for reading with me, my friends. Happy Rizvan to all of you who are celebrating. Remember, drop any of your thoughts, questions, comments down below in the comments. Actually get some really interesting conversations there. I will do my best to answer you, but also it's, it's enriching for everyone else and someone else might also have a response to your thoughts, your comments. And please remember to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Invite your friends to subscribe to this channel. Let them know this is where the party is at for sure. Um, if I get to a thousand subscribers, I can do some live streams, which would be really neat. Like and yeah, that's our to-do list. All right, my friends, until next time, I wish you the best for playing your unique part in making this world a better place. I'll catch you next time.